Toy Addicts, it's Jody. Do you remember Susie Zoo? Aren't these little guys cute? This, these came out, I believe, in the late 80s or early 90s. I'm not sure of the year. I couldn't find like, Wikipedia information on it. So if you know, you put it down in the comments below. But I know I remember having them in the 90s at least. And I looked through my own personal sticker books. And I didn't have any of these stickers, and I can't imagine that I, I uh, wouldn't have bought these if I saw them in the 80s. So that's why I say the late 80s they were around, maybe, because I would have loved these. These are stickers, sticker sheets, and um, as you can kind of see, they fold here. All the ones that I have are doubles, but... Look at on the top, you can see a little perforation, which tells me that these came off of those rolls of stickers that you could get in all kinds of stationery stores. And Susie Zoo doesn't just have stickers, they also have cards and all kinds of other stationery products. And I think you can even get stuffed animals and stuff, or you could at least. But these little guys, I picked up just a ton of these at an estate sale last weekend and I this whole haul of them that I'm gonna show you I picked up for three dollars all of it and aren't these cute this was my I've been listing these all day today on eBay and this was my um, hi hello set I kind of try to put them into sets of um, subject matter. And this is my set that was like thinking of you. So this is cute with bear hugs. Hugs, I hope you're feeling better. All the best. Look at that bear. He looks like a papa bear. He's cute. Tender thoughts. And see, all of these are um, on double sheets. And the collectors of these, they actually call these module modules. I think because there's like more than one sticker on them, a lot of them have, you know, two or three stickers. So you wouldn't just call it a sticker. So they call them modules or mini mods is actually the term that um, you find on eBay for them, mini mods. So, um, in all of my listings of these, that's what I put on there, mini mods. <laughs> gotta learn the lingo, right? If you're gonna list things, you gotta try and learn the collector's lingo because from one collection to the next, they would be, they might be different. Like, I don't think that Lisa Frank collectors call the roll stickers mods or modules. Um... So I'm not sure where that came from, but it just might be the lingo for the Suzy Zoo collectors. And this one I called uh, flowers. This was a flower lot because they all have some fun flowers. Look at that cute lamb and the little ducky there and with wings and lilacs and lilies and daffodils and roses. It's a super fun set. So... What happened with these was I had listed some Halloween ones as soon as I got them because um, I wanted to, you know, get the Halloween ones up quickly so people would have time to find them and um, buy them before Halloween, you know? And this one is um, Animal Friends because the main characters in here are that bunny that you saw uh, or not bunny but the chick and um, there's some marmots and uh, like a little porcupine and so some of the characters like this is a mar one of the marmots some of the characters are a little more rare different animals 
So I did a, a lot of like some of the different animals, the marmot and the, the snail, <laughs> let's call him a squirrel, giraffe, it's a cute one, the only giraffe one I had, a little ballerina mouse, some teddy bears and a turtle, some frogs, these are the only frog ones I saw too, and a piggy, and this is a fun one. I came across her quite a bit, but um, she doesn't appear to be one of the main characters, but I called her an ostrich. I don't know if that's really what she's supposed to be, but look at those glasses. And a bunny rabbit. So I listed the Halloween ones, which oh, we'll come up on those here pretty quick, um, right away. And... Um, because I just had like a stack of these that I had to organize and everything and figure out subjects for and whatnot. And the Halloween ones sold like, literally I listed them and they were sold like two minutes later. So I, um, got a, a message from the gal who bought them and she said, I'm looking for holiday ones and other character ones. And will you uh, please let me know when you're going to list more? So I let her know. And she, as soon as I listed them, she was snapping them up. And then I figured out later it wasn't just her. It was her and another gal. So I actually had 29 lots of the stickers. Now here's a full sheet one. Birthday ones. And then more of the mini mods. Um, I had 29 lots. Of each lot I listed between $7 and $11 per lot. Depending on how many stickers were in there. And um, which ones were more rare. As much as I could figure out. I really don't know a lot about the Suzy Zoo stuff, but um, that's but um, that's kind of how I figured it out uh, or you know decided what I was going to list things at. And so here's a school one, a back to school one. These are some really cute ones. And we have, you're the best. School is cool. Some graduation ones. Teacher with class. Those would be some good teacher. Uh, decorations for a teacher card. A little personal from a teacher who knows teachers. The best teacher gift to give any teacher is like an Amazon gift card because they can buy stuff for the classroom, anything for the classroom with that, um, or for themselves. If you say use it for the classroom or for yourself, they can buy something for themselves, they can buy something for the classroom. And that's way better than like a Starbucks gift card or a mug with candy in it or something like that. Okay, so. <laughs> just so you know. <laughs> here's some Valentine's Day ones. There's a full sheet there. And then there's just so many of these. There's so many. Like I said, I, got, I did 28 lots. And I think the smallest lot had five mini mods in it and that was it all of them have you know at least that many um or more actually this one i think might be the smallest lot because it has one full sheet and only three mini mods that tiger he's a more rare one you and me. So cute. So anyway, um, this one gal was buying, 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 and then 
another gal was also buying, buying, buying. I figured out later when I went and looked and, it, you know, there were two buyers. So they were kind of fighting for all of these as I was listing them throughout the day today. So one of them bought 10 lots or 11 and the other bought 14. There were still a couple that didn't get sold. I think maybe like four or five lots. But, um, so I still have some on there. But it just, it, it's crazy to me how quickly these sold and how, um, you know, how much they ended up going for. Stickers, um, if you're an eBay person, uh, selling, I mean, uh, stickers can do pretty well if they're the right stickers. I've had stickers, um, I came across some prismatic stickers at a, an old pharmacy in a really small town um, that were from the 80s, but they were like new old stocks still on their shelves. They were super dusty, but this was just maybe like three years ago, two or three years ago, um, that I ended up that I ended up selling. Um, I bought four packs, all the packs that they had, and I ended up selling each pack for seventy-five dollars. And I bought them for 99 cents, you know, and they had been sitting in that, this one is puppies and kitties and a tiger. <laughs> they had been sitting in that pharmacy for, you know, 20 years or something or more. Um, but that was a pretty good score. And there's some stickers that, other stickers that can go pretty well too. Vintage Lisa Frank stickers people really like. Any vintage Lisa Frank things people get pretty excited about. And vintage character stickers. Starburst Shortcake stickers from the early 80s can do pretty well. Um, and other character stickers. You know, if you find a... Um, Mint in the package, say, pack of Rainbow Bright stickers from the 80s. You could sell those for maybe $15. Maybe even more, depending on the subject. Like, if the subject is more like the the horse, Starlight Horse, or something, it could maybe even go for $20. This is the Friends lot. Look at how cute. Yay! I called this one the correspondence slot because um, it's like a mailbox and you know what you would put on your letters and then these would be like seals I guess for your letters right I don't know I was uh, getting kind of desperate for subjects. I was uh, getting kind of desperate for subjects. Oh, no, this is definitely the smallest lot. I've only got two, and I believe I listed this one for four. But um, we've got... This one's all about baseball, these mods, mini mods. And then this one has all the different sports on it. Well, not all the different sports, obviously, but, you know, the most popular ones. And I like how it's got the little duck, but then it's got shoes that you can stick on his feet, kind of like paper doll style. I think that's kind of neat. So even if I just sold this, these, these two for four bucks... That would cover the cost of all these stickers that I bought.
These ones, I think, are so cute. Nobody bought these ones yet. I was surprised. They're baby ones. So you got the stork. And then a little one playing with their teddy bear and reading books. So one that says, hi, kid. And then mama loves, or baby loves mama. Super cute little set. Okay, so this set is super fun. This is, um, well, I thought they were all golf. I took the pictures and then I realized, do you see my folly here? He's not playing golf. He's playing croquet. He still has like a golf kind of outfit on, but he's playing croquet. But the tiger is so cute. And the little ostrich lady with her pink golf shoes. <laughs> I love it. And then this was a really sweet set. Love you lots. And it says mom on it. This is dad's Mr. Fix It. Dad's making sandwiches and paint and stuff and going fishing and this one says happy father's day it has the fathers and sons on it so nice and this one says happy mother's day isn't that cute To be honest with you, I have to fight the urge to put all of these stickers in my sticker book. Because you know I want to. I just want to keep them and put them all in my book. But I'm not going to do it. I'm going to try really hard not to do it. <laughs> Stick stickers that I already sold, but... Ones I haven't sold yet. It's tempting. This is, of course, birthday ones. More fun flowers on these, too. This cute little baby bear. Oh, there's another little mouse dressed up like a ballerina. And a teddy bear. That's a pretty involved one. Now, I noticed on some of these that it said they have different designers. Look at this. That's the first and only wiener dog I saw. Look at his tail going. <laughs> on some of them, they actually say the designer's name more on the big panels. Um, but they do have some different designers, and you can kind of tell the designs are a little bit different. Some of, the, some of them have super bright colors, where others are a little bit muted. And some of the characters are a little softer, almost like they're more like babies, where some of them aren't. I don't know. So that might be another thing to look at, too, if you have some of these you're looking to sell, is um, does, does the designer make a difference? Which it might. Some more Valentine's ones. There's a little mousy again in her uh, ballet outfit. And some more Valentine's fun. Teddy bears. And lots of hearts. And then that's a full sheet with lots of fun pink on it. There's a penguin on that one. I think that's the only penguin I've seen. Here's some Easter ones. The holiday ones definitely seem to be more popular. Got bunny bunnies. And a bunny with a little flower basket that you can kind of make. This is a little chick with some shoes you can put on her and some bows for her head. 
Happy Wishes. And some Easter lilies and daffodils there. I actually think we've seen this one before. I didn't have very many duplicates in here at all. But there are a couple. The sale that I went to. Oh my gosh. So much craft stuff. Of every kind. They didn't have a store. They just spent a lot of money on crafts. And when I say so much craft stuff, I'm talking thousands of rubber stamps. Thousands of stickers. Thousands and thousands of pieces of scrapbook paper. Um, die cutting machines and, you know, hundreds of different die cuts. Um, hundreds of paper punches. I love this one. Beep. So much stuff. And the prices were fairly reasonable, too. So it was kind of neat um, to be able to go through it. A lot of times when you go to an estate sale, you know, the prices are very high. And this specific estate sale company, their prices tend to be pretty high. But because there was just so much at this sale... The prices were fairly decent, which is nice. Although I guess I could have paid a lot more for these stickers and it still would have been a good deal. Thanksgiving. And look at these squirrels. So cute. So cute. Here are these Halloween ones that we started out with. Look how cute these are. Little witches. And Clowns losing all their Halloween candy. And a little cowboy. And then more super cute Halloween costumes. And look at all that candy. Missed one. Oh, look at the pig. And a turtle. Last one. And these cute ones, jack o' lanterns. And look at this little little ducky dressed up like corn. And there's your ostrich again, with little bat wings on her glasses. Cute. And a little clown. And <laughs> duck dressed like a cat. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed all these fun Susie Zoo stickers. And um, if you're a reseller and you see these, pick them up. They can be a good profit if you get them for cheap. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure and comment, like, and subscribe. Who's your favorite character? Or what was your favorite sticker sheet? I love these Halloween ones. I think these are definitely my favorite. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.